What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here in this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. I wanted to talk about Rift Watcher summoners because Rift Watcher packs are currently being burned. The proposal passed and the uh, implementation was uh, put into place a couple of days ago. So we've already had two burns. Uh, so about thirty thousand packs removed from the store. And uh, yes, I'm going to wear it on my sleeve. I want you to go out and buy Rift Watcher packs. But uh, well, this is more of a gameplay video. So hopefully for all the gameplay uh, video people who want that, <laughs> this, is, this will scratch that itch. Because looking at the, the different summoners, right? There's clearly a cream of the crop and then there's a bottom of the barrel. Now, Ilthane, far and away, the best summoner of the bunch. Simply because... The plus one speed is always going to be helpful outside of uh, reverse uh, reverse speed rule set. Uh, but the other one, return fire, essentially negates one of the three attacks, right? There's only three attacks and you can negate one of them uh, by dealing that damage back. And in a, in a, you know, in a game where the rule sets are designed as such, where you can, you know, before this year, remove one of the other attacks, right? So there's only two available. Having that essentially means that you can you can negate half of the attacks that your opponent gives. But I would actually say, and this is gonna be kind of my thesis for the entire video, that what really makes Ilthane and then Fernhardt and Thisbot to a certain degree as well, as popular as they are or as useful as they are, is due to the fact that there are specific rule sets that benefit them tremendously, right? You have the only ranged and the only magic. And then of course you have uh, the ones where it's just like no melee or no magic or something like that, where you can you can kind of mix and match and have an advantage by having your, uh, you know, different, different summoners have that value. Uh, obviously the supporting casts matter, right? So uh, I'm actually surprised this was a little bit lower, but when you think about dragons, dragons aren't necessarily that fast, but the utility being able to put them with a bunch of other summoners, I think, or a, bu a bunch of other elements, is is really valuable. Um, so when you think about what Matt said a while back, and I think Aggie echoed it too, you know, the goal is to create cards that have a very niche or very specific utility. And I think that's what we're doing. And you can see that with, you know, Elthane, Fernhard, and Thispa. So I look at Scargor, Aquatus, and Dalin, and I think to myself, what, you know, are we one rule set away from giving these cards that same kind of utility? Now, I'm not saying that they're going to go, you know, jump to $5 like Elthane, but, you know, Dalin's like, it's it's trading at less than a dollar right now. And you only need 46 copies uh, or 46 BCX in order to max it out. So, you know, it's that's actually ridiculously cheap compared to in, or relative to the prices that we've seen in the past. So Scargor, you know, if we take a look at that one first, and I, I kind of want to leave that just because Enrage is already quite useful as it is and can come in handy. And you can see that the pricing isn't as far away from this buff, but I, I personally couldn't think of, you know, a specific rule set in which uh, it, it, it gets an additional benefit. There could be, there could be something in which it's just like enraged monsters deal 2x the damage, right? Something like that could come into play. And then similarly with Aquatus, there's enough monsters with backfire across all different splinters now. Um, well, maybe maybe it's it's not as specific, but with the implementation of something like Rift uh, Rebellion or the mini set, we could see um, we could see backfire something as something that is much more widespread, meaning that you could get a rule set in which something like backfire does double the damage, right? So if you have backfire uh, or if backfire gets triggered, you do double the damage or, or something like that, or it stuns your opponent, right? Cool little tricks like that where all of a sudden Aquatus would have this added value because uh, maybe anytime somebody misses, now they're stunned for the next turn, for example, right? So all these little things could could add up and have some value. With Dalin, uh, let's see, with Dalin, I, I was thinking, again, Cripple generally takes one life away, even if you're hitting just the armor. So Cripple could be something where, you know, it's it's a rule set where Cripple, the, the effects of Crippled are doubled, right? Or Cripple, uh, in this rule set, Cripple overrides immunity, some things like that. It's, again, these are very niche. These are very specific, 
But once again, they would add tremendous value to these specific monsters. Now, at the end of the day, you know, their their uh, abilities that they affect are so specific, whereas, you know, something like Hilthane, that affects an entire attack type. Uh, and Fernhart similar, right? That's a, an entire attack type and Thispa. So you need to have maybe something a little bit more, maybe a couple of different rule sets that were added into the mix. And I don't think that we're going to get those, you know, all of those different types of rule sets anytime soon. But I would like to see more rule sets added in. I would like to see more complex and variety and all these different things. And I do think that we're eventually going to get it, you know, over the, once the land 1.5 is out and, uh, and we're, we're kind of back in the groove of the team, you know, just working through a bunch of different things and, and spicing up the game. I, I think we could see those things. So, you know, at the end of the day, at this point in time, Aquatus, Dallin, even Scargor to a certain extent, they're not feeling the love as much. But I do believe that we could get to a point in the future where you could have some rule sets that come in and give them a little extra, I don't want to say value, but a, a little extra utility. And if we continue burning at the rate that we're burning, these could be some of the rarest summoners in the mix for modern format when we when rebellion comes out so that is all i have for you guys in this video let me know your thoughts in the comments below otherwise i'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game take care